Three most common resolutions for 2015. Lose weight, get organized, and microjig. Maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. One of the things I really like about having a workshop is that it's constantly changing. I'm always adapting it to suit my needs as they change. I've been in this space for 14 years now and it looks totally different now than it did in 2001. Floor space seems to always be at a premium and while I have always liked having this enormous four foot by eight foot workbench in the center of my shop, it just doesn't leave me enough room to work around. So one of the things I'm gonna do is downsize this workbench. But before I get started on that, I wanna to try to organize this, which has been a mess for a long time. And I'll admit, I built this hutch because I thought it looked cool to have all these tools hanging on the wall, but actually it's not that practical because I only use a few of those tools. I don't need them all on display. What I do like about this are all of these cubby holes here that I can store boxes of screws and glue and all sorts of things. So I just want to expand on that more than anything. This thing seems a lot bigger now that it's out here than when it was on the wall. Now I can clean those up and get a more accurate cut on my table saw. These six boards will be enough to make the dividers for three cabinets and I'm gonna mark the bottoms of these. And that way when I make a series of grooves for the shelves, it doesn't have to be exactly spaced on each cut. As long as I reference that one side on each board, they'll all line up. I'm using my dado blades to cut a series of grooves in one side of each board. And I'll keep moving my fence over again, this doesn't have to be exact. On the back side of these three, I'm gonna make three grooves. I'll just kind of mark them by eye. Maybe I'll put a groove there, one in the middle, and one up here. These shorter pieces are for the tops and bottoms, and I need to cut a series of wider grooves in them. I'll split all of these boards down the middle, glue and tack these together. Cutting these grooves makes lining everything up a lot easier. I wanna make sure that all these marks I made are on the bottom so that they all line up. I'm gonna reuse these thin dividers from the old unit and I'm gonna slide a few of them into place now to help keep these dividers square and from bowing before I put the back on. I had to cut two pieces for each back because I didn't have enough big pieces left over from the old unit. I'm gonna hang these to the wall using French cleats. I'm cutting these long strips of plywood at 45 degree bevels. Those little bumpers will just keep it away from the wall like that. This 
color of paint will make it a little bit bigger on the inside. Before I put these drawers back into my workbench, I thought I would clean out the junk. I mean, seriously, I don't even know what that is. One of the things we all struggle with when we're trying to clean out our shops is getting rid of things. Someday I may need that for something. If I've had something for a couple of years, 20 years, I'm probably unlikely to ever use it. I'd like to suggest a book by Julie Morgenstern called Shed Your Stuff, Change Your Life. She gets to the essence of organizing, which has less to do with where am I going to put things in, which things will I throw away, and more to do with our emotional attachment to objects. You can download Shed Your Stuff, Change Your Life free by going to audible.com woodworking. You can pick out that or any of over 150,000 other audiobooks free. As I continue my personal quest to live a more minimalist life, I'd like to hear your thoughts down in the comment on saving things and any strategies you have to deal with all of the stuff we accumulate. Well, that's a start. You can tell I still have a lot of work to do to try to get this all organized. I do like having my router table out here where I can get to it a lot easier than when it was over in the corner. Make sure you watch next week. I'm going to be building a new workbench for the center of the shop. I've got free plans for this cubby hole organizer you can download. Check in the description for that. And I almost forgot to welcome you to my first video of 2015. I think it's going to be a great year. I've got a lot of plans in store. Make sure you keep up on everything Mere Mortals by going to fourmeremortals.net and also subscribing to my second channel, Mere Minutes. Let's get organized and make it a great year, everybody. I'll talk to you next week.